In the heart of New York, the world capital of musical theater, the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Community Center is hosting a conversation with Broadway star Kristen Chenoweth. Part of the New York Times Times Talk series, this event drew a packed crowd to the center, and they were rewarded with a great performance. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom Kalaga from the New York Times, and it's my pleasure to welcome you tonight to the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Community Center. And now, please join me in welcoming our special guests, New York Times critic Stephen Holden and the bewitching and multi-talented Kristen Chenoweth. The famed New York Times critic Stephen Holden began by talking about Kristen's background as a child growing up in Oklahoma. I survived many a tornado. I've milked many a cow. And the trick is, you guys, like, say this is the teeth. You have to work the entire teat. You can't just go like that. <laughs> and the very first song I sang, which was at the Southern Baptist Convention for 20,000 people when I was 11, was a song. It goes like this. I'm only four foot eleven, but I'm going to heaven, and it makes me feel ten feet tall. They say I'm not too strong, but I've known all along I've got the greatest power of all. He lifts me up, makes me shout, I come to Jesus, that's what I'm all about. I'm only four foot eleven, but I'm going to heaven, and it makes me feel ten feet tall. And that was my first song. <laughs> you were also second runner-up Miss Oklahoma in 1991. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Oh, I'm still bitter about that. <laughs> To go from beauty queen to Broadway star took a lot of work and a chance encounter. Your real turning point came and the break came after you got your scholarship, a full scholarship to the Academy of Vocal Art in Philadelphia and just happened to come to New York to help a friend move and just happened to audition for an off-Broadway show. I was like, you know, maybe I'll try out just for fun, be fun. So I waited outside for five hours. <laughs> The guy at 5.30 came out and he goes, oh my God, you're still here. <laughs> so I did my audition and he, he goes, who are you? And I said, <laughs> I said, well, I'm this girl from Oklahoma and I'm actually going to go be an opera singer. I've got a full scholarship. And I just wanted to come here and have the experience of a New York audition. He was like, sit down. <laughs> we, want, we want to offer you this part. And it was like the, the secondary lead part. And um, they said, Who do you, who's your agent? I was like, my dad. <laughs> so I gave him my home phone number. I did. And I said, you can call him. And so then I just prayed about it. And I, that little voice came back and said, you should do this show. She's also recorded two albums, Let Yourself Go and As I Am. I really just want to keep doing different like, I'd love to do a classical record. I'd love to, I'd really like to do a country record. I'd love to do a Christmas album. You know, Barbara Streisand did one. <laughs> Skip to your movie career. Okay. You have six of them coming up, don't you? Something like that? Yeah. Running with Scissors. Do you guys know that book? Yeah. I play Annette, Annette Benning's Lesbian Lover. Oh. I know. <laughs> That was so fun. <laughs> um, I did uh, just sign to do um, Dusty Springfield, the story of Dusty Springfield with Universal. So You're going to be Dusty Springfield? I am. Dusty, right this moment in my life, is somebody that nobody's ever really told her story. They just know son of a preacher man. I mean, she made herself into Dusty. Do you know what I mean? She, she, wasn't, she wasn't that. And when she looked in the mirror, she didn't see a beautiful person. She saw a plain, fat, ugly person. She really had, could not come to grips with her sexuality for so long and had drug and alcohol issues. But really what I love about her so much is her music. That will be good. It will be fun. Thank you so much. You could go on for an hour. I know. For more information about the Times Talk series, the LGBT Center, or Kristen Chenoweth, please visit www.heartv.com.